What's going on everybody? Welcome back to my channel. I am doing a brand new how-to tutorial involving DaVinci Resolve where we're going to talk about sort of a little effect that I was wondering how to do but I, it's something that I had to use for a recent project, a music video to be specific and uh, I wanted to show you guys because I don't really see anywhere on YouTube on how to do this and this is basically how to create a white border backdrop. Now if you're doing music videos or you're doing some sort of where, uh, design where you kind of want to go maybe with a summer, maybe do something different look. In this case we were doing a music video that was designed to be something summer and instead of the regular typical black bars that you would get, we wanted to go with something white that you typically see something in a lot of higher fashion, high fashion or upscale summertime music videos. So to, just to add a little bit more uh, value to it. And I was trying to figure out how to way to make it work and eventually I found a solution and that is what we're going to discuss today. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get right on into it. And if this is content that you like, please definitely subscribe and hit the likes so you can stay up to date on everything else. All right, so I have my sequence right here. Hopefully you guys can see it right here. We are going to have a sequence. Uh, by the way, this all of this stuff right here is basically part of my uh, videos that you can get on ArtGrid themselves. And if you don't know, ArtGrid is basically a amazing stock footage website. I love it. I basically use it for anything that I do for projects as well as personal projects. What is great about it is that you can basically find creatives and contents that you like. You can find them like there. And also you get a lifetime license footage, which is not actually common. Sometimes if you subscribe to a place with stock footage and then you end it, you lose the license to use it. Stock with ArtGrid, that is not the case. You, you subscribe, you pay for it, you get the license forever. So that's one of the great things about it. And I, it's got high quality. They're all about high quality. And they also you can become a film grid, filmmaker on ArtGrid uh, if you want to apply. They are strict, but definitely something you can do and you can put some little extra money on the side. So definitely sign up now. I have an, uh, I'll leave it in the description below if you guys want to check that out. But uh, yeah, let's dive right back into this here. As you guys can see, we have uh, a shot here of a sailboat and we're going to, so again, this we're going sort of like a summer vibe, like we're going to create a music video. So we got a couple shots here uh, just to sort of give sort of a beach uh, summer sort of exotic look. And now we, what we want to do is sort of we want to create the bars. So like right here, uh, we are have got shots. All of these are red except for this, which is a DJI Phantom 4. But I still color graded them so that we can get sort of a similar look and feel throughout the shot. So, and if this is something that you would like to know, it's like, how can you get, uh, and actually let me blow this up. How can we get something where it makes everything look like it's part of the same sequence? I can definitely help you guys show this out. I've done videos on this, but I can go a little bit more on it if this is something you're interested in. But let's look at this. So, right, like, again, these are some black bars that we want. Instead of having the black bars, I want to have white bars. Now, actually, this will help if I go. Now, one way you could do this is you can go here, you can go to generators, and then you can go to the solid, drop the solid underneath it, and then you go to all of these, you go to the cropping, and then you start cropping the top. Oops. You start cropping the top and the bottom, which you could do right here. I don't think this works for this, but let me, oh, sorry. I forgot to change this. It would also help if you change it to white. So let's do that real quick. So, and then I'm going to go to the cropping and I'm going to reset this. So we got this on the, on the bottom. You can, but you can see here, we don't have consistency. So what we're going to do is we're going to, so let, we, what we could do is like, obviously you can crop the top and the bottom, but of course there's inconsistency, some things here and you got to go individuals. But let's say like here, you can, you want to crop the top and then you want to crop the bottom and then you do this, but you could do this individually, but there's also a bigger problem. Well, let's say if you want to say, do maybe have uh, add a zoom in. So I'm gonna just do so, like a cheap thing where we go into the dynamic zoom. Now watch what happens. All of a sudden the bars disappear. 
and that it can be very, very distracting if we were trying to do something like this. So what is the solution that we can do is we can do, instead, we're going to bring this up top above and put it above. And again, we're going to change this to white. And I am going to then duplicate this. And we're going to put it, make sure we're under here. And I'm going to just, for right now, I'm going to end this one. And then I'm going to go to the settings. And now I'm going to make this, I'm going to start cropping in the, the bottom of this until we get perfectly lined up right there. And then we're going to do it again. Open this up, put again, disconnect this. Now we're going to get the crop. The, we're going to crop the top and we're going to try to get the bottom until we get perfectly lined up at the bottom. And then we have them both, which is cool. And then instead, what we're going to do is just make a new compound click and we're just going to say white border. We're going to make say white border. And now this is something that is consistent across this. So now if say you want to do a dynamic zoom. So now if you want to do a dynamic zoom push in. So now if you want to do a dynamic zoom push in, you can now do that. So now we can push it in and it's not affecting anything around because it's overdone on the top. And now you can then make all the adjustments that you want, move things around. And that is great without necessarily having to try to individually change the white bars. Make it simple and easy and then keeping it consistent. Hopefully this is something you guys enjoyed. Uh, hopefully this was a quick tutorial. If you want to see more about this, let me know. Leave your comments below. And as always, make sure to hit that subscribe button. And until next time, take care, everyone.